Do record cleaning machines work? Hmm. <laughs> this question comes from Benjamin in Singapore. I, I'm guessing it's not my good friend Ben Chia, who, uh, boy, you know, e even in my book, 99% True, Ben's, Ben's in there. Uh, he, yeah, he's a great guy. I don't know if Ben's still running around in Singapore, but if, Benjamin, if you see Ben Chia from Absolute Sounds in Singapore, say hi to me, uh, for me, if you would. All right, Paul, thanks again for sharing with us your daily videos. My pleasure. Thank you for watching. I've learned, quite a, <coughs> I've learned quite a bit, so thank you. I'm wondering whether record cleaning machines are living to one's expectations. I've tried a few brands, but to be frank, I'm not fully sold and convinced of its purpose. Do they work? What is your experience with them? And thank you. Well, my experience with them is that they're a pain in the ass. Yeah, I know. Uh, but they do work. Unfortunately, many times these pains in the asses work. And I, when, when, we, when we have, like here's our, we're, this is just what's hanging out here. What do we have? Uh, hmm. uh, Leonard Cohen, I don't even know what this is here. Fleetwood Mac, uh, Anima. Uh, Tom York, well, that's a uh, that's a good that's a good hearty album. Um, when we're kind of lazy, so we don't wash them all the time. Although people really do, and yeah, I mean you can hear an immediate difference between properly washing a record, drying it perfectly, and listening to it. There's 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 a difference for sure. Even on new, because you know, new ones have all these mold release agents, they don't wash them, and, and, and it really does help. Before we go to a show and take our turntable, like the Axpona show that's coming up here shortly in Chicago, we spend the time to wash it. Now, we just have a VPI, this is our VPI table, but we have a VPI record washing machine. I think it's good. It's not the best. And, and we really, at some point, should invest in an ultrasound cleaning device. Those are the best. In my experience, if you, if you not the cheesy ones, there's, you have to put a few bucks out and you have to be obsessive enough to want to put up with the hassle of washing a disc, right? If you're lazy like me, don't bother. But if you, if you do, if you really want to have the ultimate experience with a record, you want to wash it and you want to do it in a really good ultrasonic cleaner because the ultrasound vibrates in this, this fluid and loosens the dirt and the wax and the pollution and the stuff that gets in there. Because remember, you're you're scraping a, uh, what's, oh my God, there's a dime on here. I'm going to shoot somebody. They, they used it as a weight. <laughs> um, the engineers in here are always doing something funky. Anyway, um, the idea of a mechanical needle scraping around in grooves of plastic, turning it 33 and a third times, uh, you know, uh, uh, per, was it per minute? Yeah, uh, per minute. In this groove, scraping along, you can only imagine that anything it runs into, dirt, lint, wax, mold, it's going to change the way it wiggles, and its wiggles are what you're hearing. So this is pretty simple to understand. The cleaner the groove, the easier the movement of the needle is going to be, the less problems and interference you're going to have. I mean, it's, it's just logical. And can you hear those? Of course you can hear those. You're listening to the wiggles that are going on in here. So yeah, of course you can hear it. Um, it you just have to decide on your level of laziness, the amount you want to invest. And, and if you do go for it, my recommendation is an ultrasound machine. Okay. Thanks for the question. And if you... See my buddy Ben out in Singapore. Say hi. Talk to you later. Bye.